This video will demonstrate how to use Nanomaterial Modeler to build gold surfaces and particles with various Miller indices and their equilibrium particle shapes. For our first example, we build a 1-1-1 gold surface with a 10 angstrom water layer. First, click the Nanomaterial Type button and choose Metal, Gold. Note that the currently selected material region is updated after selecting a specific material. To create a gold surface with a specific Miller index, Select Box in the Nanomaterial Shape section, which reveals the box options. You can select the Miller index of the surface and define the box size. Currently, Nanomaterial Modeler provides different cleavage surfaces with Miller indices ranging from 100 to 332. Note that the cleavage surface is parallel to the XY plane and perpendicular to the Z axis. Choose 111 for the Miller index. The X, Y, and Z length defines the size of the box in angstroms. In this tutorial, we set the X, Y, and Z length numbers to 50, 40, and 30, respectively. The Periodic Options section defines the periodicity of the nanomaterial along each axis. In this demo, we choose X and Y periodic options to model an infinite surface, or slab, parallel to the X, Y plane. The last option for users to consider is the System Type, which defines the solvation state of the nanomaterial. Nanomaterial Modeler provides solvation using water. To use a different solvent, you can instead choose the Vacuum option and upload the generated nanomaterial structure to Multi-Component Assembler. We use a water solvent in this demo, so click the Solvated option for the 111 gold surface, and then click Next. You can check the 111 gold surface structure by clicking View Structure in the upper panel. Nanomaterial Modeler provides two methods to adjust water box size. One is to specify water box size, and the other is to fit water box size to material size. These are also known as the explicit and implicit size methods respectively. In the first option, you specify the exact system size manually. We cannot modify the X and Y value because we chose to make the X and Y dimensions periodic. The length of a periodic dimension is set equal to the length of the material along that dimension. For non-periodic dimensions, the default values are also the length of the material along that dimension. However, we can add water to the system by increasing the size of non-periodic dimensions. For example, to solvate the gold surface with a 10 angstrom water layer for both the top and bottom sides using the explicit water box method, increase the Z value from 35.32 to 55.32 angstroms. To do the same thing using the implicit size method, select Fit Water Box Size to Material Size and set the edge distance to 10 angstroms. The Add Ion section allows adding one of four ionic compounds. With the Distance Ion Placing method, ions are placed in randomly chosen locations that don't collide with the nanomaterial. The Monte Carlo method chooses initial positions with the distance method, then repositions by comparing the potential energy of ions at different locations. In this demo, we uncheck the Include Ions option to solvate the 111 gold surface with only water. Note that you must recalculate the number of ions after making any change. After clicking the Calculate Number of Ions button, click the Next button to proceed. You can check the solvated nanomaterial structure by clicking the View Structure link on this step. Note that the final system size may be slightly different from the initial values of 50, 40, and 50. The generated system size is approximated by an integer multiple of the unit cell size. If the generated structure is different from what you intended, you can retrieve your CharmGUI project using Job Retriever. Copy the job ID in the upper right panel and click Job Retriever in the Input Generator menu. Paste the job ID in the Job ID text box and click the Submit button. Job Retriever provides the project name, step, and recovery link. In this demo, we won't change anything. Click the Go link in Step 2 to return to the previous step. Then click the Next button to proceed. In the Input Generation step, select the simulation software to use to simulate the nanomaterial. Also, set the temperature for equilibration and production runs. Then click the Next button in the bottom right to generate the simulation inputs. After a few minutes, download all input and output files by clicking the Download button. After decompressing the TGZ file, you can check the files of all previous steps and read the instructions to simulate in the README file under each simulation software directory. 
metal nanoparticles are among the most widely used structures in material science and engineering. CharmGUI Nanomaterial Modeler provides versatile methods to generate nanoparticle shapes such as sphere, cylinder, rod, polygon, and equilibrium particle shapes like wolf construction. In our second example, we choose equilibrium shapes of gold nanoparticles, which are well known to have shapes that differ as a function of their surface Miller indices and surface energies. First choose the nanomaterial type gold, and select the wolf construction shape. Radius in the wolf construction options represents an approximate nanoparticle size. Let's use 30 angstroms for this demo. Initially, we start with 100 and 110 Miller indices and their corresponding default surface energies. Click Preview to visualize the overall appearance of the wolf shape. You can freely change the Miller indices and surface energies by clicking the plus button to add more surfaces or the minus button to remove them. This interface allows you to quickly check the predicted material shape based on the selected surfaces and surface energies. Finally, for the system type, we choose the vacuum option and click Next. When your nanoparticle is generated, you should check its structure by clicking View Structure in the upper panel. As in the previous solvation system, there are two box size options available to adjust the system size, Specify Box Size and Fit Box Size to Material Size. This time, we click Specify Box Size and adjust the X, Y, and Z values from 57.09 to 67.09 angstroms. This is equivalent to setting a fit edge of 5 angstroms. Then click the Next button to proceed. On this step, you can review the system information in the System Size section. Click the Next button to proceed to the Input Generation step. After a few seconds, you can see the input generation options, as in the previous example. Select the simulation software that you want to run your simulation with, and click the Next button. After a few minutes, download all input and output files by clicking the Download button in the top right. You can check the files of all previous steps after decompressing the TGZ file and read a simulation example in the README file under each simulation software directory.